Ever wondered if a real-life zombie apocalypse could occur? What if we told you it's already happening dot 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 in the deer population? Welcome to the intriguing world of the zombie deer disease or, as scientists call it, the chronic wasting disease, CWD. Recently, Yellowstone National Park reported its first confirmed case marking a significant milestone in the study of this disease. CWD is a fatal illness that targets cervids, a family that includes deer, elk, caribou, reindeer and moose. The culprit? Prions which are proteins that have misfolded in a disastrous way. These rogue proteins wreak havoc on the brain and nervous system of the animal, leading to symptoms that eerily mirror those of a zombie, hence the nickname zombie deer disease. But this is no Hollywood movie. This is a real-life scenario unfolding in the wilderness of our national parks. And it's not just a concern for the animal kingdom, but potentially for us humans too. Intriguing, isn't it? A zombie apocalypse in the animal kingdom? But should we be worried? Now let's delve into the hard facts and figures surrounding this disease. Chronic wasting disease, or CWD as it's often called, is a serious matter. As of now, we have no known vaccines or treatments. This is a disease that doesn't play fair. It's transmitted through direct or indirect contact with bodily fluids or contaminated objects. This isn't some isolated incident either. CWD has been reported in at least 29 states across the US and its reach extends even further to several other countries. The disease doesn't discriminate. In some areas, the infection rates are alarmingly high as much as 1 in 10 or even 1 in 4. The costs of managing CWD are not to be understated. We're talking significant social, financial, and ecological costs. Just to give you an idea of the scale we're dealing with, the federal government has spent a whopping $280 million on CWD from the year 2000 to 2021. The implications are vast and the numbers are staggering, but what does it mean for us humans? Could we fall victim to this disease? Are we facing a potential human zombie scenario? These are the questions that may be lingering in your mind. While chronic wasting disease, or the so-called zombie deer disease, is not known to infect humans, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention caution that potential transmission could occur through consuming infected deer or elk. The disease is part of a family of neurodegenerative conditions, a family that includes the infamous mad cow disease which has infected humans in the past. The similarity is disconcerting and cannot be ignored. As we continue to learn more about this disease, we urge you to stay informed. If you appreciate these insights and wish to stay updated, please do like this video and subscribe to our channel, The Zombie Deer Disease, a fascinating yet terrifying phenomenon. We may not be facing a human zombie apocalypse just yet, but the implications are worth keeping an eye on.